Hey legends, in this video I'm gonna share with you some social media engagement hacks that are gonna help your reach, help your content, and help you grow on social media. So if you don't know me, my name is Fraser Brooks and I help people from all over the world build their business using social media and I cannot wait to be able to help you, especially when it comes to engagement. So if you do get value through this, do me a massive favor, smash the thumbs up, smash the subscribe button and let me know down below how important creating social media content that works means for you. Okay, so before we get started, let me ask you this. Are you sick and tired of getting like low to no views or engagement or likes, comments on your social media posts? I know, I've been there. It's cringe looking back at the post I did so long ago thinking, why did I post that? And where was everyone? And it's even more frustrating when you spend all this time to actually do the work and nothing comes of it. So let's change that. So think about this. If content is king, engagement is queen. And the queen rules the home. It's so important for you to understand this, that the content, yes, it's important, but to get the engagement is the key. Okay, so let's go into some engagement hacks. Engagement hack number one is create content that people actually want to comment on. So something that gives them an emotional trigger, makes them want to respond, right? So a real good example of this is a this or that post. So if you're always talking about yoga, then ask a question for people to answer, right? When you're starting out with yoga, did you prefer to go to a studio or did you prefer to go and do, watch a YouTube video? And that kind of leads on to engagement hack number two, post things consistently. Meaning if you talk about yoga today, don't talk about food tomorrow, fashion the next day, travel the next day, business the next day, personal development the next day. Continue the conversation around yoga. Engagement hack three is know exactly what you want to talk about and make it very clear how you help people. So maybe in your bio, it's going to say, I help who to what? I help people who love yoga to improve their yoga, right? I help mums to build a business online. I help single dads to break free from the corporate cycle. You choose, but make it very, very clear how you actually help people because this will improve the engagement when someone identifies as someone who you can help. Engagement hack number four, use the solid formula of hook, story, offer so that every single piece of content you create has a reason for people to lean in, has a reason for people to stay listening, and then has a reason for people to take the next step. By you simply saying, hey, drop a like on this video, or you saying, hey, comment down below, or you saying, hey, message me if you want to continue the conversation, that will increase your chances of success of getting more engagement dramatically. Engagement hack number five. Now this one might sound a little bit crazy, but I want you to look at each day, and instead of looking how much likes, how much comments, how many views you get per post. I want you to think about how many views, likes, or comments you get in all of your posts in one day. And here's the really weird, simple hack. More content, more likes. Simple. So if you're seeing that one post gets 100 likes and 100 comments, although that's incredible, good job if you're there, what happens if you get 50 likes and 50 comments, but you post three or four times? Now, it might require more effort, but the idea here is you fall in love with the process. You marry the process and you divorce the results so that you become a, a person who just keeps creating content so that you can get more engagement. Okay, engagement hack number six. This is something that I've been doing for years and years and years. I teach this and I have done for years, over 10 years now. Reply to all of the comments you get. Now, if you're already getting loads of comments, it sounds exhausting. But if you're only getting one, two, three comments on all the posts you're making, it's gonna be super easy. I have something called the CPR method. C is for comment on posts before you make your post. P is for actually making the post. And then R is replying to the comments that you've got on your post previously or the current post that you have. That is going to help resuscitate your social media. It's going to bring your social media back to life. So engagement hack six is to use the CPR method to revive your social media game by replying to other people's comments. Engagement hack number seven, go and find the people who are already creating content similar to what you're creating. Engage like a maniac, engage like a beast on their content because in order for you to get love, you first need to give love onto other people. It's the reason why we love our parents, right? They love of us first, so we then love them back. Engagement hack number eight, especially on Facebook this one, go and join Facebook groups that are related to the content you're talking about. So again, back to the yoga conversation. If you're creating content around yoga, then guess what kind of groups you're gonna join? Travel groups, joking. You're gonna join yoga groups. You're gonna have conversations in the messenger with these people from the groups. You're gonna have conversations as content, as posts in the yoga groups. This is then gonna feed onto your own posts when they come and find you. Okay, then an engagement hack number Number nine, my personal favorite, is to repost past
past performing bangers, right? So monitor and track the engagement of your posts so that you start to create your own content leaderboard so you can find out which posts that you've done have worked or banged more than others. So then 30 days, 60 days, 90 days after you originally made that post, post it again. There's a high chance that it will outperform previous attempts with the engagement. So you find out and you know what you're talking about. You find out and you know who your audience is. You create content around that by making it very easy for people to want to actually engage. You find people who have created content like it before. You find Facebook groups of people who are already having that conversation. And then you post, you monitor, you create more content, you see which ones do better, and then you repost the best and get rid of the ones that didn't work. It is a test, tweak, and repeat process. You test the content, you tweak it when you need to, and then you repeat the process until you have 100, 200 posts that you know have guaranteed to crush it. So your engagement goes through the roof. When your engagement grows, your reach grows. When your reach grows, your visibility grows. When your visibility grows, the chances of people finding you and wanting to follow you will grow. And therefore, the cycle kind of expands. More followers, more engagement, more reach. More followers, more engagement, more reach. More followers, more engagement, more reach. So with that being said, if you got value from this, I would massively appreciate it if you could smash the like button, smash the subscribe button, and then let me know down below which of the nine engagement hacks are you gonna start implementing today. I'll see you next time.